Hello beautiful humans and thank you so much for being here. I pray that you're well, healthy and happy. In this video I'm going to show you how to make acrylic paint cones. These can be used for dot painting, for henna inspired art and so much more. So what you're going to need is some heavy body acrylic paint um, in a tube, some scissors, a ruler, a roll of cellophane or even sheets of cellophane, some sellotape, um, I got myself this handy little sellotape holder um, and it just allows me to like kind of pull off the pieces very quickly and easily. So let's get into the video. Now firstly what you're going to want to do is roll out your cellophane and the first step is to cut our cellophane into small squares or sheets um, which we're going to use to roll our cones. So as you can see here I'm just measuring mine out. Um, ideally for me I use 17.5 centimeter by 17.5 centimeter squares. So here I've just measured 17.5 centimeters and now I'm going to cut this into one long sheet and then going to further divide that into 17.5 centimeter squares. So just take your ruler again and measure 17.5 centimeters across and make a little mark. Um, of course it doesn't have to be 17.5 centimeters. For me I found that's what works pretty well. Um, it can be 20 centimeters but I find that when it is that size the cone is a little bit too big so ideally 17.5 centimeters works really well for me how many times have i said 17.5 centimeters now anyway no more of that so as you can see i managed to get two squares out of that sheet of cellophane and now it's time to get a rolling so what we're going to do is lay our square sheet flat and what I do is I fold one corner over. So as you can see, I'm just folding this corner over and then I flatten it down and try and make that edge as sharp as I can because you want to get a nice sharp tip. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the edge that is in and tuck it underneath as you can see here. It's a little bit hard to explain but you kind of just tuck it in and begin rolling it in your fingers as you can see here. And what you'll find at this stage is that it's a very loosely rolled cone. Um, the open end will be quite big and open so now we need to tighten it. So you kind of slip one finger inside as you can see and kind of just keep pulling it until the cone gets tighter and tighter. Now, when I first started making cones, maybe over 10 years ago now, I found that really difficult. So just play around for a while, keep watching this video, um, and hopefully you'll get the hang of it. But honestly, it just takes a lot of practice. And now I'm just taking a tiny bit of sellotape and placing it towards the bottom of the cone where the tip is you'll see that there's a bit of cellophane that's kind of sticks out and you want to stick that bit down and then you're going to take a longer piece of sellotape and you're going to place that tape along the seam as you can see there so the long part of the seam And that is your cone all ready to go. So now we're going to start filling our cones. So take your acrylic paint, um, like I said I recommend a heavy body acrylic paint for this type of work and literally just squeeze it into your cone. Now I think this is probably one of the most satisfying things about making your own acrylic paint cones is putting the paint in the cone. Now the reason I've got a little scale is because I actually make and sell acrylic paint cones and each cone is 25 grams so I'm just basically measuring it to make sure that each cone is 25 grams. 
Okay, so you know like I said before that filling the paint cones was the most satisfying part? I was actually lying because this is the most satisfying part. So what you want to do is get your ruler and as I'm doing here, you just want to push your paint down towards the tip. Um, it is really satisfying, especially when your paint is quite high up and you just kind of watch it splurt down to the tip. It's really satisfying. Um, so yeah, you just want to do that. And now we are going to seal our cones. Now I've got my scissors again because I like to cut off the excess. Now not everybody does this but I find that it really helps. Um, I don't know if it's because I've got a little bit of OCD, I'm really not sure. But I always cut off the end, leave maybe two or three centimetres and then take a piece of sellotape and seal it over the top so it goes across both sides. So as you can see here, I've stuck it to one side, I'm folding in the edges and then I'm going to fold it over so it seals both sides of the, cone, of the cone, not the coin, the cone. So now we've sealed that edge, um, what I like to do is get my ruler and just push the paint down again because this next bit can be quite fiddly um, it's really not my favorite part but you gotta do what you gotta do um, so now we're gonna fold in the sides and we're gonna seal the cone fully so you need to take your top edge and fold it in and then okay so I'm just doing that again I'm folding in the top edge and then you are going to fold in the sides like you're wrapping a present you know when you get to the sides and you kind of do the two triangle folds um, so that's what we're doing for this and it will be quite tight it will feel quite tight but that's good because you want it to be a nice tightly rolled cone and then as you can see I'm just folding in from the top so I'm folding the point that is made at the top in and now I'm just going to seal it with a little bit of sellotape running from one side and pull tightly over the other side And there you have it, congratulations, you have just made your first acrylic paint cone. As you can see, it's really tight, the point is very sharp, um, so don't be stabbing yourself with your cone. And here I'm just adding my business sticker onto the front. And as you can see, here are some that I made earlier, just like on Blue Peter. So to make sure that all that information really sticks in your head, I thought that we could make another cone together. So here I've got my square sheet of cellophane and as you can see I'm just folding in one corner again like we did earlier. And then we're going to grab the corner of that piece and tuck it underneath and roll it over. So keep rolling, rolling, rolling and as before it will be quite a quite an open loose cone but then we're going to put our thumb or our finger inside and we're going to pull it so it goes quite tight on the end and we want a really tight closed tip take your sellotape and stick it down towards the tip the bit of the cellophane that is sticking out and then as we did before, we're going to take a longer piece of sellotape and stick it along the long seam of the cone. And voila, like earlier, you have your empty rolled cone. Now, this time I'm taking this gorgeous, like, burn orange colour, which I absolutely love. And I'm filling my cone, like I said, very satisfying, very, very satisfying. And filling it up, getting my ruler and just pushing the paint down to the tip. Now, this one was a bit fiddly because there was some air trap towards the tip. So I just had to kind of push the paint around with my fingers and then push it down with the ruler. And now, like earlier, we're cutting off the excess cellophane and we're gonna seal the cone. So take a long piece of sellotape, stick it to one side, fold the sides in 
and then fold the sellotape over the top so both sides are now sealed. Now the next step is folding over the top just once. And then I, in this video here, I'm just pushing the paint down again, folding in the sides, like we said before, like wrapping a present. So fold them in nice and tight, so you get a nice kind of triangle shaped point at the top. And then you're just going to take that and keep rolling it in on itself until you can't go anymore. So like I said, this is quite tight, the cone should feel nice and tight and then all you have to do at this point is take a long piece of sellotape, stick it on one side and pull it over and stick it to the other side so everything is nice and tight and secure. Now the tip of your cone should be really tight and closed like this so you can cut it to your own desired thickness and that's it guys well done you've just made your second acrylic paint cone so well done that's amazing now you can use these cones to create a multitude of different types of art you can use them on pretty much any surface and all the art that you see on my youtube channel and my instagram is made using these very same cones don't forget, if you'd like to purchase your ready-made acrylic paint cones, you can do so on my Etsy store. The link is below. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. And until next time, keep shining, keep smiling, and I shall see you very soon.